hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss the most most important selenium interview question uh, in this video i will discuss basic question then advanced question then framework related questions and then practical question so stay tuned till last the first question is what is selenium so selenium is an open source automation testing tool which is used to test the web application it allow the tester to simulate user action like clicking button entering text in the field navigating between pages validating web page content so basically selenium support multiple programming language like java python and c# hash and work with browser like chrome firefox and edge so in this way we have to explain this question now the next question is different between selenium 3 and the selenium 4 so basically uh a uh, selenium 3 means it work well but need some extra app like driver for each browser to function properly and when we talk about selenium 4 so selenium 4 is like upgraded phone that has everything built in making it easier and the faster so uh, as a real life example we have a car a and the car b car a means selenium 3 which needs a driver and gps device to reach a destination and car b means selenium 4 which has a built in safe driving system and the gps so no extra setup is needed i hope guys you understand the selenium 3 and the selenium 4 so selenium uh, 4 means a simple car which needs a driver and the gps device to reach a destination but selenium 4 is a another car which has a built in safe driving system and the gps so no extra setup is needed as a technically when we talk about the technically so technically means selenium 4 is a upgraded version of the selenium 3 with a faster execution and the better feature uh, it uses w3c web driver protocol making automation faster and the more stable new win window handling technique uh, include in the selenium 4 uh, so it can directly open a new tab it has a base uh, better grid support as compared to selenium 3 so in this way we have to explain this question in the interview when the interviewer asks different between selenium 3 and the selenium 4 the next question is uh, what are the different types of the locator in the selenium so basically in the selenium there are eight type of locator in the selenium so uh, like id name class name tag name link text partial link text css selector x path so id means it is the fastest way to find a element using unique id name it can find a element using the name attribute class name means it find the element by their css class link text means it find the element links by their full text and xpath means it is the most powerful to find the elements using xml path partial link text means it find the links by part of the text so in this way we have to explain in the interview that is uh, in selenium there are the eight types of locator now moving to the next question and the next question is different between the find elements and the find element so let's see its answer so uh, find elements means it find only the first matching element and the find elements method means it find the all matching element and return a list a real life example like uh, if you search a selenium means uh, first think of the google search page in the google search bar if you search a selenium the first result shown is like a find elements means only one result and the when we get uh, the whole list of the search result so it like a find elements uh, find elements method so basically technical in the technical explanation a find element method return a single web element find elements with a return a list of web element if element is found the find element return the first matching element and in the find elements return the all matching element if the element is not found the find element throw no such element exception where whether while find elements return a empty list <coughs> Uh, now the question is when we use find element and when we use find element so when we need only one element like login button that time we use the find element method and when we need a multiple elements like all link on a page all option from a drop down that time we 
यूज ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स में था सो इन दिस वे वी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन इन द एंसर आई होप गाइज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन सो गाइज आई हैव प्रिपेयर द वर्म नोट्स विच इज विच कंटेन द सेलिनियम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन मैनुअल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड द जावा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन the notes which contain 2000 plus interview question and i have also tried the uh, its answer and this question uh, is from the uh, different different platform like linkedin uh, whatsapp group tel telegram groups and other platform i have gathered the all interview question from this platform and i have tried to give the answer to this question so if you want this note i am sharing this notes link in the description box and the comment box go through the link and share your feedback about the note so now we are moving we will move to the next question and the next question is how you handle the drop down in the selenium so the question is how to handle a drop down in the selenium so in selenium a drop down is a web element which allow user to choose the option from a list like just selecting a country while filling a form for that we use the select class to handle the drop down which provides the method like select by visible text select by value and the select by index to choose the option if the if it it is a multi select drop down we can select multiple option and we can even deselect them so uh in this way we have to handle the drop down in e selenium so in the selenium we use the select class to handle the drop down basically it provide the three three main ways to select the option like select by visible text select by value and the select by index so in the select by visible text method we use the syntax like select by, dot select by visible text and the in the bracket we have to give the parameter select by value means here we have to pass the uh, value attribute in the bracket and the select by index means here we have to pass the position which is starting from the zero so an other important method to handle a drop down it is a is multiple method and the get first selected option so if uh, if we have to deselect the option there is a method like deselect by visible text deselect by value and deselect by index so in this way we have to explain this questions answer in the interview now the next question is how to handle the multiple window in the selenium so in selenium handling multiple window is important when clicking a link that open in a new tab or pop up for that selenium provide get window handle method to get parent window id and the get window handles method to get all window id and we use switch to method switch to dot window method to switch between the window so uh, imagine uh, we are using a google chrome and open a new tab to check the something so now for that we have a two windows open first window which is original and the second window that we have open for that selenium selenium need a way to switch between this window just like click you different tab and for that we use the get window handle and the get window handles method to handle this window real life example like means we are browsing a amazon and click on the mobile phone link the phone details open in a new tab and we have we switch between the tab to compare the phone so in this way selenium can automate this tab switching using switch to dot windows method so in the interview we have to explain like in selenium handling multiple window is important when clicking a link that open a new tab or a pop up for that selenium provide get window handle method to get the parent window id and the get window handles method to get the all window id like this we have to uh, explain in the interview so get window handle method means it get the current window unique id and get window handles method means it gets the all open windows id switch to dot window uh, window method means it switches the control to the given windows means in the uh, window parameter it like in the in this in this we have to provide the window id so in this way we have to explain now the next question is what is the difference between get method and navigate dot to method 
So, in Selenium, both get method and the navigate dot to method are used to open a web page. But get method wait for the page to fully loaded, while navigate dot to method doesn't wait and allow a forward and the backward navigation. Means get method wait a full web a uh, full page load, and the navigate dot to method can't wait for the full page load. Uh, uh, get method not allow back and forward navigations while navigate dot to method allow a back and the forward navigation method with the help of navigate dot back method and the navigate dot forward method. When we load a new website from the scratch, that time we use the get method, and when navigation between the pages without full re reloaded, that time we use the navigate dot to method. And the one here is one other another method is uh, include in the navigate dot uh, to method means driver dot navigate dot refresh means it refresh the page. So thus in the uh, when we talk about the uh, real life example like if you click a new video the page fully reloads means get uh, here we are using the get method. And if you click the back and forward button, you navigate smoothly means we are using navigate dot two methods like that. Now the next question is how to handle, how you handle the alert and the pop up in Selenium. So in Selenium, alert are the pop up message which appeared on the web page like JavaScript alert for the confirmations and the warning. For that, Selenium provides switch to dot alert method to handle this type of alert. And in the alert concept, we can accept, dismiss, or enter the text in the alert. So here are the different types of the alert like confirmation pop-up, from the pop-up, and the simple pop-up. And the alert contains the different different method like accept method, dismiss method, get text method, and the same keys method. With the help of accept method, we can click on the OK buttons on the alert. With the help of dismiss button, we can click the cancel button on the alert. If we have to send the alert message, that time we use the get text method. And we, if we have to enter the text in the prompt alert, that time we use the send keys method. And when we have to switch to the alert, we use the syntax like driver dot switch to dot alert. And when we have to perform the some action on the alert, that time we use the accept method, dismiss method, and the send keys method. In this way, we have to handle this question. Now, moving to the next question. Next question is how do you handle a frame and the iframe? So, uh, simple definition like imagine we are watching a YouTube video embedded in a blog post. The video is inside a small box that is iframe on the web page. To click play button, we must first focus on the window box. And for that, Selenium need to the same thing uh, by switching into the frame before interacting. Real life example means the think of a bank website with the embedded calculator. The main page show account details. Inside the page, there is a loan calculator in a small iframe. And we cannot click inside the calculator unless we focus the first page means uh, first loan calculated. So in the Selenium frame or iframe is a web page inside another web page we need to switch into the frame using switch to dot frame method before interacting with element inside it and we can switch back using switch to dot default content method. So in this way we have to explain this question in the interview. So basically Selenium provide three way to switch into a frame. First is the driver dot switch to dot frame. Here we have to pass the index. Driver dot switch to dot frame. And in the second, we have to pass name or ID. Third way is driver dot switch to dot frame. And in the here we have to pass the web element. In the sorry, here we have to pass the web element as a parameter. So uh, step to handle the frame in Selenium like first we have to find the frame using index name ID or the web element. Then we have to switch into the frame using switch to dot frame method. Then we have to perform the action inside the frame 
by using uh, driver dot switch to method and if we have to switch back to the main page then that time we use the method like default dot contain now moving to the next question and the next question is what is the difference between the driver dot quit and the driver dot close method uh, so uh, in selenium driver dot close means it closes the current browser tab while driver dot quit method closes the all browser windows and end the session for example if multiple tools are open close only close the one but quit method shuts everything down in a simple way means imagine we are using a google chrome with a three tab open driver dot close method will close just one tab that we are focusing on and the driver dot quit method uh, closing the all entire browser like we can exit the chrome and all tab close together like this i hope guys you understand this difference between driver dot quit and the driver dot close method so driver dot close current closes the current tab driver dot quit closes the current tab and the all tab also and also it end the web driver session when we use driver dot close method and driver dot quit method so we use driver dot close method when we have to close only one tab and we use the driver dot quit method when we have to shutting down the entire the browser key point like driver dot close is useful for closing pop up or extra tab while keeping the section active and driver dot quit method which is used to uh, exit from the browser and close the all tab tab in so uh, in the next video, we will see the Selenium Web Driver advanced question. So, guys, I have prepared the notes which contain the 2000 plus interview question uh, for the Selenium interview question, Java interview question, and the manual testing interview question. These questions uh, have gathered from the different different websites like LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Telegram group, WhatsApp channel, and the other platform, other website. And I am trying to provide the its answer to. Uh, in very depth if you want this note i am saying sharing the notes link in the description box and the comment box also so go through this link and the share the feedback in the next video section i will discuss the advanced uh, web driver advanced question and the framework uh, framework related question and also i will share the practical interview question so if you like if you like my content so please li uh, do like share and a comment if you have any doubt. Thank you.